What's going on guys? William Bootsy Blandon. Welcome back to the channel. One of the biggest things people have a problem with when they're setting up a holding company is coming up with an actual business. They've skipped the side hustle stage and they got a lot of cash. They just want to throw into a holding company because they want to keep their assets safe or they know what operating company they want to do but they don't know what to do for the holding company, how to put revenue into the holding company. Well, believe it or not, you can have a holding company business that basically does nothing but become your bank. Bear with me. Basically, all you do is set this holding company up. Take your starting funds, because I'm assuming you have five to $10,000 to at least start your holding company. Because this is what I recommend if you don't have any side hustle to get you going. You need to have some capital. So you take your five to 10 grand, you come to me and be like, well, set me up a holding company. And you don't know what you want to do with the holding company. <coughs> Excuse me. You don't know how you're going to fund it to build your corporate credit. This is what you're going to do. You're going to pay me my fee to help you get your holding company started. After that, we're gonna take the other $8,000. And what you're gonna do is, now that you have your business bank account set up, now you're gonna slowly start putting those funds into your holding company. You're gonna spread it out about within three months. So put, Break it into three and slowly deposit it with the largest amount being at the end, the third month. This will give start building your credibility with your bank. You're putting some money in there. You're operating. You're moving. Then we start the fundamentals of building your corporate credit. And you're going to do your day-to-day -day stuff. You got your operating company or your job, whichever it is, so you got income coming in or your side hustle or whatever. Over time, I would say four to six months, you literally could just have this company purely for building corporate credit. And what that's going to do is become your bank. So now when you have projects you need to do, you go to your holding company, borrow the money, lend the money to yourself and pay it back with interest. This way your holding company becomes more valuable because you're taking money out, but you're putting funds back in it. Pay down those lines with the funds you're paying back. So there shouldn't be any discrepancy. You should have your operating company or side hustle bring in some type of money in. But your holding company could actually later become your bank where it literally just builds corporate credit. It doesn't do business with anybody doesn't operate anybody it's not an arm's way you may still want to get insurance but it might not even be necessary to have insurance because it's not in harm's way it's not doing actual business with anyone that's what your operating companies later are gonna do so now you're over two years three years four years you have so much credibility and corporate credit that literally any project or any new operating company you want to do, you just go to your, let's say it's a C-Corp, you just go to your C-Corp, take out a loan, actually do the paperwork so that you can claim those on your taxes on both companies. So actually set up a corporate document stating the loan, so forth, sign it. You know, if it comes into question, the IRS wants to see what was done, you have legal proof. And you can go over that legal proof with your CPA or accountant, whoever's doing that. And if your CPA tells you that one company can't loan to another company and get some tax advantages from that, he's a wrong CPA, in my opinion. Ross, wrong CPA or law firm, and I would not work with them. If they don't understand your hustle, you can't work with them, it's that simple. I hope this video was informative. Again, if you guys haven't already, subscribe, like, and comment. Um, keep supporting the channel. I actually am going to finally put out my holding company course. 
So stay tuned for that. Check the links below. Some good information. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.